Hi, my name is Carlos Ulis, MD. Today I would like to present to you a very exciting new product in the area of growth hormone deficiency diagnosis. We now have a product which is the first FDA approved medicine, which is an oral solution used to diagnose adult growth hormone deficiency. And this product is called Macrolin. Now in the past, we used insulin growth hormone, I mean insulin tolerance test, which was somewhat dangerous. Uh, then we had, secondly, people were using GERD, growth hormone releasing factor, also known as Samoralin. Uh, Serono stopped making the Jarif product. However, the Samoralin being generic is being pro uh, produced or uh, distributed by compounding pharmacies. Likely the product comes from China. This, uh, test, this product is being widely used by many doctors. Thirdly, we have pituitary centers using glucagon infusions with some uh, peptides. So how do you use this uh, uh, macrolin? First, macrolin comes in a pouch of 60 milligrams. The dose of macrolin is 0 0.5 milligrams per kilogram body weight. Usually it's dissolved in water to about 120 ml. Then you calculate the weight. For example, if you're 120 kilograms weight, you would use one half of the, the, you would use the whole 60 milligrams because that's what the right dose would be. 60, 120 divided by 0.5. Now this test is great. You don't have to do much preparation and no baseline bloods are needed. You do testing at 30, 45, 60, and 90 minutes. You get the results and then you know if you are truly growth hormone deficient, that your pituitary gland is not producing enough growth hormone. I want to warn you that this IGF test, IGF-1, that many people use is not really accurate for growth hormone deficiency. We see many people with normal IGF-1, but low growth hormone production. So it's a, IGF-1 is a better test of too much growth hormone if you're taking it, rather than the opposite if you're not producing growth hormone. Then, um, so in summary, it is the only first FDA approved uh, test. Now, what are some of the side effects? I mean, some of the side effects of use are things like headache, abnormal taste, sometimes increased appetite because you're in injecting uh, or using or taking in ghrelin, which we know is an appetite stimulant. Uh, some people may feel fatigued, maybe a little bit of nausea. So how does macrolin work? Macrolin is an oral ghrelin agonist peptide. So it works like ghrelin. And ghrelin works on the growth hormone secretagogue receptor. So it's a peptide which then binds to the growth hormone secreting receptor. And through that, you signal the hypothalamus pituitary to release growth hormone. And this has been well worked out, very well established. So in summary, please look in the next four to six months for this product called Macrolin, distributed by Stonebridge Pharmaceuticals. And probably the price will drop. It is now $4,300, but it will be a good way to really accurately determine growth hormone deficiency and it can be done as an outpatient. Now, should you have any questions about this, please email me at kullismd at gmail.com. Thank you.